hi guys welcome back to my channel it is the start of the ramadan vlogs and i'm so excited welcome to my little ramadan series that i do every year on my channel you guys already know this is like my favorite time in the year it's not ramadan yet we still have a few days to go i'm actually celebrating my birthday dinner today with some friends and my sisters so i'm getting ready for that there's a new place in manchester that opened i think a few months ago I'm not sure but it's called Saku Samba so I booked us a table there I'm really excited to try it I'm just excited to eat some sushi to be honest I've really been craving it you can see my dress in the background it's that maroon one I feel like I haven't been out or dressed up in so long and I'm just excited to see my friends very rare that we're all free on the same day I'm just gonna finish off my makeup I've already done my base and I took this from my little sister's room it's the Charlotte Tilbury liquid blush and and I've seen everybody raving about this oh my gosh look at that and for my makeup I'm gonna do kind of my everyday makeup and then just stick lashes on it I am really lucky because I'm a teacher so we actually get two weeks off during Ramadan which is so nice it's right in the middle of ramadan it's like this spring slash easter holidays i will aim to have about three ramadan vlogs up for you guys i normally do a bit more vlogging during ramadan anyway it's just really relatable isn't it even if i'm doing small stuff like prepping iftar it's nice to see i just really love watching ramadan content every year i post you guys's charities um, in the description box so again i say this every year but if you have any charities you want me to promote just dm me and then also dm me like a small caption of what it's about because i do get sent loads i don't have time to like write a little caption for everyone so if you are dming me a link please dm me like a short sentence of what it's about and then if you are stuck on what charities to give to then you can just check my description box and i'll have loads there um, it is actually my birthday tomorrow but i didn't really want to do anything on a sunday because see i have work on monday and you know when you get like the sunday scaries like you you just feel a bit gross on a Sunday, don't you? So I thought it would be nice to do it on a Saturday. So I have like a buffer day in between. Okay guys, the sun is about to disappear and there will be no more lighting. So before I finish my makeup, I thought I would show you the jewelry that I'll be wearing tonight with my outfit. And it is from a brand that I've been loving lately. I've talked about them before and I've been wearing their jewelry for a while now. I'm very excited to say that this video is sponsored by PD Paula and I'm really excited to be working with them again. They are honestly becoming one of my favorite jewelry brands. Their pieces are so unique and I always get complimented when I'm wearing their necklace and rings out. I talk about jewellery all the time on my channel. I just think it's such a sentimental gift to give to someone. They can look at it and just think of you and I think there's something really sweet about that or just something nice you can get yourself. It elevates your look. So I'm always on the hunt for new pieces and every time I go onto the PD Parlor website I always see so many timeless yet unique pieces. I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I picked out. I know you guys are really going to love them and I'm giving some away as gifts to my sisters for like a little Ramadan present. I thought that would be cute. And I know Eid is around the corner, so I thought the, this was a perfect time to share with you guys something really sentimental that you can give to someone. The first thing I picked out is their bestseller, and it is the initial necklace. Picked out my initial, obviously, Z, and as you can see, it is sparkling. I'll try it on for you guys. This is something that will go with every single outfit. So this is what the necklace looks like on. I'm obsessed. Just love how it's so dainty and wearable. Again, it's gold plated, really shiny because the stones are made out of white zirconia. All the pieces come in these boxes and then they are all individually wrapped in these pouches that have the branding on it. So the first ring I got is called the lace stamp ring. This is so me. I love signet rings. I have a few now. This is by far my favorite. You can actually get this one engraved. Again, it's gold plated, so it's just gonna last you a really long time. And that is what it looks like on. It's so gorgeous. The next two are gonna be gifts for my sisters for, I don't know if I'm gonna do it for Ramadan or for either, I haven't decided yet. And this is called the five ring. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so unique. I've never seen any ring like this i just know that they are gonna love this for the summer i wanted to follow that theme and get a similar kind of ring for my other sister and this is called the sage ring it's like an eternity ring and it's so sparkly i actually think these rings would look really cute 
stacked. I'm obsessed with all the rings I got. And if you guys are interested and want to do some gift giving or you want to treat yourself, then I actually have a unique code for you guys that you can use. Um, I will leave it on the screen here and you can get yourself some money off. And I will also leave my link down in the description box where you can go into the website. But yeah, I'm going to go finish off my makeup. Otherwise, I'm going to run late. So I will talk to you guys in a second. Mario just came home and she saw that I have her Charlotte Tilbury and she's a bit annoyed at me. I'm gonna test it out. You know you you can lock it, Maria. Yeah. So, cause yours is like dripping. Do you put it straight onto your cheek? No, I put it onto my hand, mix it about, then put it into my beauty blender. Oh, your beauty blender. At the edge. Okay, I'm gonna do what Mari does. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and she mixes it in. It's very subtle. I like how it's a highlighter at the same time. I might actually just go over that with my powder blush. This is just from collection. But I love it, it's such a pretty colour, it's in the shade 2 Bashful. It looks like a lot, but this is going to fade by the time we actually have to go. I realised I didn't even show my outfit, but I have posted it on my Instagram, so if you want to see my dress, you can check it out there. But yeah, we went to the restaurant, and it was really cool, you got a tablet and you ordered all your food on there. And how cute do my sisters look? This is what the food looked like, it was really yummy, and I just had a really good time with all my friends. Hi guys! Hi. 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 Did everyone enjoy their food? It was really yeah, good. It's really good, wasn't it? Amazing. Only come if you like sushi and that kind of vibe. Yeah, otherwise you It's very really fishy. Yeah. yeah. But we're just sat in the photo booth. We're waiting for our photo. Did you come? Uh, I'm not in any of the pictures. Oh no! Look at the first one, we look so confused. Oh, you guys look cute though. No, it's actually really cute. Hi guys, so it is Sunday today. It's officially my birthday and I just want to show you how many flowers I woke up to today and I'm just so happy. Wait, look. But they're all so beautiful. My friends and family know me so well. These two bouquets are actually the same. Um, and then I got some sunflowers from my mom. And I just love flowers. They make me so happy. I'm just getting work done because I have work tomorrow. I'm a teacher, I don't know if I've mentioned that in this vlog, but yeah, I've got work to do for tomorrow and then I'm also in the middle of filming a collab and I have a video going up today, so even though I'm not doing anything, I'm still busy. I'm going to a coffee shop right now with my little sister just to A, film some of my collab and then B, get some work done. Then we are going to go to Tesco's because as you can imagine, I don't have enough vases for all of those flowers, so yeah, we need to pick some up. I'm speaking so fast. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but yeah, we will just go through the day together. But this is my little outfit. I've got on this really pretty top and then I've got these linen pants. I got an oat latte and then I got pan and chocolate as well. Yeah, Mario's with me by the way. He's Hi guys. Share this. Do you want to be on? No. Okay. <laughs> finished getting the content and doing some work and now we're gonna go to B&M to see if they've got vases. Okay we're going to Primark because we couldn't find any vases in um, home set. Where were we? Home bargains. Oh my gosh look how pretty these are. Look at the lips one. I think we're gonna get this thing. I am back home and I got some vases from Primark. These are what I got, they are so pretty. These were £3.50 and I got both colours and then I got two of these as well. I also came home to more flowers so these are from Henna and how cute is the wrapping on it? I love it. And for the rest of the evening, I just helped my mum and sisters make some patties for Ramadan. It was really productive. We just sat there in a little train and got it all done in one evening. Hi guys, so it is officially Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak to everyone who is participating in the holy month. I'm so happy it's Ramadan. I feel like it always comes at the perfect time and when you need it the most. I think I say this every year, but honestly, it's my favorite time of the year. It's just such a beautiful time. There's so much community. The peace that you feel in Ramadan is just unmatched. I feel like you don't feel it any other time of the year. I'm very excited, as you can tell. I am fasting today. It is the third fast and it's a Saturday. It's obviously the weekend so I don't have work so I've just been taking it really slow today. Very chill day so far. Fasting during work wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. This is my 
first time fasting whilst being a full-time teacher i was doing supply last year for some reason i had more energy than i would whilst i wasn't fasting i've got a week of teaching left and then i'm on holidays i'm a bit nervous for this week only because i've got parents evening and i've never done a parents evening before i feel like i'm making myself nervous but yeah i don't know i'll tell you guys how it goes i'm just oiling my hair right now my mom is making pagora today so i thought i'd give you guys the recipe because her pagora are amazing they're just my favorite thing so she's going to teach me how to make them and i thought i would teach you guys at the same time and then i'm also going to Dharawi prep yeah in the next two vlogs there will be a lot more cooking content and i think i'm gonna host an iftar also i feel like ramadan making ramadan vlogs is really special because it's kind of how my channel started so i always love making them i finished oiling my hair because i can't really do it whilst i'm looking in the viewfinder of my camera and we can make some fruit chart together i will talk to you guys later and if you're wondering these are the two oils that i am mixing in my hair today it is the vatika oil and the bi Aram oil i've been using this for years now it honestly helps my hair so much and it is really inexpensive so I just keep going back to it. I just finished putting oil in my hair as you can see and I'm gonna go downstairs and make some fruit jar. I went grocery store shopping earlier this morning and this is what I got. I am making a little light salad today to go with what we are eating so I just got some leaves for that. I'm running low on fruit for our fruit jar so I just topped up on some. Me and Maria have been having porridge for iftar or sari not iftar we've been having like nutella on it so i just got some of that but also for sari we've been having bagels so i just got some thins and some philadelphia with chai Hi guys, so it is Sunday today. I'm going to a David at my grandma's house. Me and my family are all meeting up there to have iftar, so I thought I would vlog a bit of it. And we didn't end up making the pagora yesterday, so I thought I would vlog it today. We're gonna go finish them off at my grandma's house and then I'll put the full recipe in. But yeah, I thought I'd show you my little shawarkamis before I go. Okay, so this is Maria's outfit for tonight. Do hey you want guys, I've not been on the vlog for ages. Do you want to talk us through your outfit? Mama got me this abaya from Saudi. Um, don't actually know the name of it, but I've never worn grey before. It's really nice. Yeah, I was gonna say I've never seen you in grey. Yeah. You look so and I pretty. Just it with like a white under like dress. Beautiful. Thank you. And Mari's gonna make the bagora. So. Yeah, so I made the bagora, and I made um lemon drizzle cake as well. What? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh I'm my god. I'm trying to get a new recipe. i get eggless one. How's your fast going? It's fine, alhamdulillah. This is the first fast where it's later. Nice, okay, well, let's go. Gorgeous mm. girl. <laughs> okay, here is the Bagora recipe. I decided to do a voiceover and I am putting all the ingredients that you need on the screen so you can just screenshot it and have it on your phone for whenever you need it. I'll just talk you through the method. You start off by sifting the base and as you can see it's really clumpy and that's not what you want. Once you're done sifting, add all the spices that I listed and also add the yogurt at this point. Okay, this bit's important. Don't just pour loads of water into the mixture. Make sure you're gradually adding it in and whisking it at the same time and you're gonna end up with this nice paste paste you have to leave this paste alone for half an hour i'm not sure why it was just in the recipe after waiting you can cut up your spinach there's no method to this just do it roughly and it should end up looking like this chop up your onions again roughly and then skin your potatoes and cut them into chunks only add the spinach onions and potatoes right before you're about to fry and this is my mom showing you how she does it she uses two tablespoons and adds a mixture onto one and pushes it off with the other spoon you want to leave it in the oil until it's golden and it will come out looking like this and they're just so delicious she said make sure you sprinkle it with chaat masala once you're done please let me know if you use that recipe and i just wanted to say ramadan mubarak to everyone and i hope you all have a blessed and fulfilling month <laughs>